Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Morecast. And I am Putty, beware my imp. Toot toot. And this is Natural Team Morecast. You just make this joke. Déjà vu. Vous jadez, mec. Vous jadez. Uh, this is the blast from I the past. I can see it. Uh, uh, it is a blast from the past. Yeah. This, these are the original Netrunner cards. We did a draft back in the July hour with them, and we are showing you some of the games that we played with those beautiful original Netrunner cards. Uh, this is going to be me on the right and Gerion on the left. Uh, we already saw the first game, which was kind of like a very basic kind of Netrunner game, you know, scoring windows, getting money, running or not running. And so this is going to be maybe a bit more exciting now that Gerion takes over as a corporation. Gerion. You shuffled your cards so that some of them are one way and some of them are the other way. Oh, I want no. you to apologize on the internet. Or don't. Just just own it, Garyon. No, don't. You gotta it's apologize. It, it. Oh, look, Garyon has a bad publicity token as a, as a HQ card. I'm, I'm giving him another card. Uh, because, yeah, th these are, of course, original Netrunner. There's no IDs. Uh, uh, there, so there's nothing to put in your HQ. It's a bit awkward. Well, because you as just a, say, oh, that's right. You do have to, yeah. So as a you know as an Android Netrunner player, feel a bit naked without any cards in HQ. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So here I, I run on the R&D here, and that is Marionette. It's uh, basically a rotor turret that is one credit cheaper, uh, but you kind of also have to pay one credit to keep it installed when it gets passed. And then I'm running on our HQ, and that is scaffolding, which I also used, uh, which is a wall, and you uh, can pay one can pay. It's the opposite. You can pay one credit when it gets passed to get it back on your hand. Yeah. A bit confusing this way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they have like those opposites, opposite opposite um, gameplay mechanics here. That doesn't make sense. To well, me. I guess if you want to try and start rearranging your server, you could do it that way. Toot toot toot. Or uh, this is Nick's favorite card. It's imp. It's not imp as in our Android Netrunner. It's basically just a host, um, um, a demon. You can host things on it, <laughs> but if you host a you host a breaker on it, uh, then that breaker gets weaker. <laughs> and then I also play a Wrecking Ball. And it has the best art ever. I'm thinking about replacing my imps uh, with, this. <laughs> with this card. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good proxy. Could, could be a nice proxy, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the Wrecking Ball is a barrier breaker, costs four strength, two, and breaks for zero, Nick. Nice. Uh, pumps for two, though. And it, again, it has an anti stealth mechanic, so it's noisy. So, I lose stealth credits when I use it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that when you go running, you just start screaming, I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm running on HQ now because HQ runs are for free for me. Rocker Boy promotions. Uh, yeah, I do fight a Rocker Boy promotion, which is <laughs> which is, has some hilarious artwork, <laughs> uh, which is uh, going to be like a monetary, like a economy card that we're going to see uh, soon. Gerion, of course, now, uh, what, after this assault in HQ, I, I guess there is no agendas in HQ, uh, probably will, we're going to see this uh, Rocker Boy promotion somewhere installed to get Gerion the money that he needs. He's down to four credits. I'm down to one credit, though. It's super explosive start, and then you all kind of peter out until things begin. You know, it's, it's like, uh, it's, it's life, man. It's like how wor life works. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Getting a credit, drawing a card. Ah, yes, Nick. I was waiting for this. I love this card so much. This is the original account siphon, Nick. The edited shipment manifests? Yeah, it's the original account siphon. <laughs> and Garen just can't believe when, when I spell out what it does. <laughs> because it just seems so broken. So it costs one. The corp loses just one credit. Not five credits as with account siphon. But I always get ten. Yeah, that's insane! Oh my <laughs> god! I like that it costs so, one. I also like uh, this completely oh. amazing like Ferrari forklift yeah, that's on yeah, it. Yeah, like Lamborghini forklift one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like also that you also get one tag, not two tags, like a council, just one tag. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, the fact that corporation just loses one credit is can be also seen as a as a negative thing. Yeah. Because uh, the thing with account siphon is you you can keep corporation poor with account siphon. Yeah. But not so much with additive shipment manifest. You have to play a lot of these to, to keep the corporation poor. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not as uh, it's not as devastating, I guess. Mm. It's more of an economy card for the runner. She's just like, wait, what? But it's just hilarious. And I drew like three of them, so I was like really happy about this. Um, all right. Oh, a typical me, criminal. I built a criminal deck in Original Netrunner. Such a criminal. 
Uh, Alright, so the Garen is start a uh, data fort, Nick, a data fort. Data fort. And then he could have started something inside. And I get out a code cracker, which is a code get breaker. I think we saw it uh, Garen using as well. Yeah. <clears throat> And I get an agenda, Project Babylon, we saw previously Ooh. also already, which is kind of like a bit lamer um, Another deal. one agenda point thing, I mm -hmm. tell you. Runner has to work twice as hard to actually do anything worth of anything. I mean, the agendas are all over the place. It's uh, There's... Uh, I talked about it before, but it's like the... The templates for agendas. We are in, in Android Nets Run, we have like typical te templates, the 1, 2, fast advanced agenda, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, Four two and five three. That's basically six, like all the no, the older than the six two that we have one. Six four. Uh, six four. Uh, there's just some ex uh, six four six two. There's some uh, exceptions, but there's like some typical archetypes yeah. for the for the templates. And in Net Android uh, original Netrunner, it's just all over the place. Like every agenda is different, <laughs> which is kind of good, kind of bad. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this is the Rocker by promotion that we talked about previously. Um, it is a uh, cost four, trash three, and uh, it has fifteen credits on it. And you click once to take three of, of it. And I see you've played another amazing card called the Looney Goon. Uh, you love this artwork, don't you? <laughs> this Looney Goon is so so ridiculous. Like I guess you had to really live through this particular period in history to appreciate the art that's in this game. Because <laughs> if you weren't old enough to really be like this is what's happening now then you know uh, I, I like Lodi Goon uh, also as a century, century breaker it is it's not the best century breaker in the world but it's decent um, I run on that on that Rockaboy promotion and go through a snowbank that he rests here is uh, cause strength zero wall so it does nothing to me um, uh, but Garen gets money out of this that's nice so it's uh, one of those like um, like special offer that just came out in Data and Destiny. He gets money when he reses it. And uh, I accidentally paid one credit to break it, but I realized that I can actually pay the pay the uh, pay the subroutine for zero with my uh, with my breaker, my breaking ball. Garen starts something in front of HQ. He doesn't want this shipment manifest to repeat itself. <laughs> Because that was a tremendous amount of money for me, just like that, for nothing almost. <laughs> Boom. I mean, it cost me nothing to break that ice. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hmm. Lots of thinking going on now that, that, that the initial initial rush is over. I have my entire breaker suite out, though. And I have a sweet, sweet imp. <laughs> uh, so Garen plays a credit consolidation. We saw it in a previous game already. That's basically a restructure. And you're gonna do something. You're gonna do something. Installing something on server. That I mean, that server is really not protected. I mean, there could be just as well no ice in front of it. Oh so, my God, Gary! And turn that card around. Which card? The one that's upside down. You're running on it so that he <laughs> has to turn it over. <laughs> Uh, so that's Euro Market Consortium. So that gives you additional hand size when it's rest. It's an asset. It, yeah. uh, you get initial hand size, and you can click and pay one credit to draw two cards. It's like, it's a like crazy the crazy Jackson Howard. It's it's a, it's bad Jackson Howard. You think so? Uh, pay one to draw two. You get. But you have a hand can, size of plus two, and it's four to trash. I I wouldn't play this card. I would play Jackson Howard though. Well, yeah, in a world where there's Jackson Howard, you would definitely play Jackson Howard. But yeah, this particular card, I don't know. I'm okay with it. I like it. It has it. It has some pretty sweet artwork. Some very very futuristic cyberpunk artwork. Yeah. Gotta say that. All right, Gear is actually using it. Gear just goes for it. He just tries it. Art. How does it taste? Mm, 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 mm. How it's does it taste, Gear? It's old Doug, Doug Chaffee. It tastes like umami. I have one hidden resource, Nick. I so for, I really do like the whole hidden resource thing, and I wish that Android Netrunner would use it more. So uh, again, we are, because we are idiots, we're not using those correctly. But uh, once I saw like an experienced player use them, I was really convinced about how awesome they are. The fact that, for example, some of them are just economy, yeah, and the the corporation cannot really tell how much money you really have, yeah, because some of them can be economy and you can just pop them during a run. That's that's so strong. Yeah, and again, we see this effect being somewhat replicated with stuff like 
uh, Street Peddler with Android Netrunner. And it makes but, sense thematically because mm, yeah. the corporation, if you're running on their stuff, they're not going to know everything you have installed. Yeah. They're not going to know everything about you. Uh, yeah. So it just thematically, I thought, I think it makes a lot more sense. And some of them are really gruesome. There's one that, that is expendable family member. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can use it to remove a tag or something. <laughs> Uh, expendable family member. That's that's a nice combination of words right there, Nick. I guess it's like my brother. <laughs> you went there. I did, I did. I'm sorry. It was there and you went there. Getting to credits. Drawing a card. Ah, we're going to see actually me using one of the card hidden resources. This is Liberated Savings Account. This is amazing. Oh, my God. I pay seven, but gain 11, so I gain four. Yeah. Hey, this uh, is definitely a Liberated Account. You pay a whole bunch of money, but you can at least recoup that quickly. Yeah, yeah. And so we're going to see the card. But I want to check out the eyes here. That, that's the only problem. Like You used to like to do like a quick glance at R&D and be like, all right, I know what it is. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, whatever. And I'm like, wait a minute. I have no idea what I just saw. And, <laughs> and some of those cards are like, they have a paragraph on them. And you're like, okay. Yeah, and you have to like read it in this like, tiny little font. Especially, and, I'm really surprised we haven't seen the cards that begin with, roll a die. <laughs> we have actually Falco, uh, in, because it's Falco. Yeah. He, he used them with Gusto. <laughs> That's good. That's, <laughs> uh, Falco, champion and netrunner. Schlaghold uh, is the best. You d you draw a dice, and if you get like one or something, then you make ten meat damage. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's an asset. So click, roll a die, and if you roll a one, then ten meat damage. <laughs> Just keep doing use, it. Keep you can do it only if the run is stacked, though. Uh. Looks like you just played a card. Is that what uh, Patel's oh, virus? Oh, that's, that's Patel's uh, virus. It's basically the proto data sucker. Yeah, I'm I gonna do talk like about this. This card is nuts. Uh, Patel's virus. Yeah, mean? because it's, it's permanent. Uh, when it runs successful, yeah. you can put a counter on an ice of the server that you just ran to make yeah. it permanently weaker. Yeah, that's but nuts. You, but you have to be uh, completely run this specific server that the ice is installed at. So I think this is a much more reasonable data sucker. I think the data sucker that we have is nuts. Yeah, I think that I would agree with that. Data sucker is kind of broken because you can charge up the counters on some unprotected <laughs> server and use it on a protected server. Like, but what here you have to run on the specific server that the ice installed in front, and then you can use Patel's antivirus to yeah. make an ice permanently weaker, but on the specific server that you already compromised. And it's on a successful run. So I yeah. guess uh, Data Sucker helps when you can't get through, yeah. but Patel's virus is good if you can get through. When, yeah, if you can, can get through to make it cheaper to get uh, through yeah. it multiple times. So, um, so yeah, I tried to run on this server, but it, I failed horribly because Garen rests in a tremendous amount of ice here. There's a Coyote in front here, which is a sentry, uh, and he gained three credits out of this. Uh, then he rests two data comps together, and they're both strength four walls. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, one extra strength, because Coyote... Uh, it says it has one subroutine for the remainder of the run. All ice is all ice encountered plus one, unless the runner pays two while passing Coyote. I, I paid a two, yeah. uh, but I just ran out of money. Uh, it was very close to breaking the set of second data comp, but I just couldn't. Yeah. And which is very horrible because I just installed that, um, Patel's anti uh, Patel's virus here, and with Patel's virus I could have made the data comps um, cheaper to break. Data comp but is a uh, that is a neat ice. It's good. It's pretty yeah. sweet. I like. I do like this whole. Uh, you need to pay one to keep an install and pass, so it kind of punishes mm. uh, the corporation for having ice to begin with. Mm. Um, and I think that that kind of <coughs> keeps a balance going. I, I yeah. I don't. I don't know if you remember this ability here because I passed one of the data comps, but uh, I don't know if Jigier and paid us. Uh, he scores a four two. It's a data fault reclamation. Uh, nice. It's kind of like. It's kind of like. Has pet project. Yeah, you get ten credits, and you can use those credits to to rest to install and rest cards. Yeah, um, and then the ten credits get go away again. Uh, all right, so I ran on R and D. There was nothing, huh. and it's it like just a weird get credits. Uh, brain. Oh god, stim hack. 
for the corporation, which I've always wondered why they don't yeah. do anything like that. It's, it's just kind of like, a, there's a lot of uh, f- uh, abilities like this where corporation gets credits, for example, during a run to rest stuff during a run. Yeah. And I think that that's nice because uh, there's certain points in Netrunner where like play has completely choked because mm. one player is just dominating everything and nobody can do anything. And so these cards kind of offer this explosive, maybe they'll unsettle the board state. Cards. I think what they, what the game designers tried to do here is, as well is like do, do do some kind of surprises here, so it's yeah. like to make it less predictable because you see how much money the opponent has you, so you can make can make predictions of whether they can rest something or not. Yeah. But suddenly there's this card and it gives you this money, and suddenly oh you can get it in any uh, even though you didn't have the money, you know. Yeah. Uh, all right, so the gear installs advanced advances in that server that is so well protected. I didn't have the money to get in before, so I still don't have the money to get in there. Hmm, bad situation. I'm playing the um, Raven Micro Cybe Eagle, which is a console. The console is incredibly expensive in this game. Six. So I think this wow. is also where like consoles like Toolbox and Android Netrunner and come from. Yeah. Like it's incredibly Monolith. expensive console. No. <laughs> yeah. So this is like six cost console that gives me one MU, prevents one uh, net damage each turn, and gives me one recurring credit. <laughs> oh man. For six. I, I probably shouldn't have played this, but I played it so I can keep running on R and D. Yeah. Because it, clearly we're just going on a on an agenda race here. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking like I'm just gonna keep running R and D, and he won't have the time to install something in front of R and D, and maybe I can score the agendas quicker. But I don't have any uh, such luck, and he scores a corporate coup. He gets it's another those economy agendas. Yeah, he gets 50 it's credits. Uh, 15 yeah. credits. He can pay one click to get three credits. Yeah. I mean, we have economy agendas and Android Netrunner, but none of those agendas where we host extra credits on that card. Yeah. I mean, we have like only the, what is it again? The fracking agenda. Yeah. I score an agenda, viral yeah. breeding ground, 4-2 agenda, not the kind of agenda I, I hoped for. Oh my god. Yeah, that's an interesting agenda. It's kind of like a... So that, it says, uh, when you score this, uh, trash the server it was installed in. When access, mm. bounce as many programs as counters it ha- as counters it has. Yeah, that's crazy! Oh my god! It's, so it's kind of like aggressive secretary and agenda at the same time. Yeah, but you have to trash the server when it when, when it's, it's access. It's crazy. All right, so I uh, have a secret. Um, I had the secret um, R and D mall. Yeah, I had R and D mall. So this is the mall. The artwork that is on on the cover of um, of Prote- Proteus. So I install it, and you can pop it while you access to access additional cards. Basically, it's very expensive, <laughs> but but you can pop it when you really need it. So it's basically like Mac Maker's Eye, but you can decide after the run is a success, not not before. So I'm a little worried about uh, you w- losing the game next turn, Christian. Yeah, this multi-access didn't really go so well. I didn't have any money, so he can just safely score this agenda here. That was a Netwatch Operations Office 5-2 agenda, and he wins the game. So we split, which is, I think, the best solution. So in I, case. Uh, we should mention the, the network Netwatch Operations Office, because that agenda is insane. Yeah, go ahead. It is, uh, you can pay a click, you run a trace 2, and if the trace succeeds, you tag the runner. Yeah. Like, okay. That's nice. It's a res- it's a restructured data pool. It's a five two restructured data. It's yeah. a worse data pool. Yeah, a restructured data pool actually. That's crazy. Oh man. But you have to also keep in mind. We d- I don't think we're gonna have traces in those games. But traces work differently in this game. Traces work. Even- yeah, we're very. So weird. Tr- so trace two means slightly slightly something different that in- that it meant in in uh, means in or Android Dead Runner. Yeah. All right. So this was the second game. We finished with the first round. So in the next round, we're gonna see some other players. And uh, we're going to see completely different decks and maybe some crazy stuff. Ooh, so I guess we're going to keep uh, retro planet hacking? Retro planet hacking for the win. Uh, I guess we're, uh, technically we're hacking the planet. I mean, we should be saying hack the future planet. Hack the hack future the planet! planet! Yeah, when we, hack when the planet! planet! Shut up, I don't, get in the car. I don't know, man. I don't know. Shit on me. This episode of Netrunner Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.